We're starting on a journey, we're following the light. It's giving us direction, leading us to life. What is up, guys? I am terribly sorry. I could not do the drone video today. I mean, sky is all dark, it's all gray, and my drone is not waterproof like many other drones, but I am still doing a video for you guys. Today's just going to be a fun, easy vlog, but first, we are at one of the coolest places in Casper's, near Casper's Wilderness Park. It's about 17 miles in. It is this candy store behind me, and I'll leave the link in the description on directions how to get here, but we're going to head inside, and I'll see you guys in there. We will give what we've been given, live our lives with faith, lift the those around us, and help them on their way. We will live a life of meaning. I've got the double bubble. So when we meet our maker, there's nothing to regret, no matter how. So what is up guys? After you guys saw that footage yesterday, I bought the double bubble gum from that store and it was honestly the most disgusting -ist thing I've ever tasted, if that's even a word. Literally if you take it out of the package, it is this long stick of gum and what you do is you literally just break it off and eat it. Uh, it tastes like medicine so I would not recommend buying this. But anyway, so after eating it, it gave me a really good idea of what to use for a, a video. And I don't know if this has ever been done before, but I think I am the first person in the world to ever do this. But I'm going to be using this tiny little stick of gum as a fishing pole. And let's jump straight into how I'm going to do it. Alrighty guys, so literally all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bubble gum stick out of this thing. Just like this, you can see probably a better angle from right there. That's how big it is, about yay big. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little tiny reel from the tiny fishing pole challenge, and I'm just going to take it off like that, and literally it's going to sit like this. So let me go tape that on. So guys, I've gotten some black duct tape, as you can see, and literally what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape the first part of the reel to the pole. Gotta make sure it's on there tight. Then I'm going to do the same to the back of the fishing pole. Here we go. And there we go. Our reel is securely fastened to our gum fishing pole. Where are you, eyelets? Nope. Nope. Haha. There's one. So you can see if you guys can see that real quick. One nice little eyelet. So guys, I've gotten our little eyelet. I'm going to try and focus up on that. There we go. I switched it to a sort of square looking eyelet. And I'm going to put it on our reel over there. Alrighty guys, quick update. So the first reel, the casting was not very good on it. So I moved on to a little bait casting reel. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much what the rod looks like from a distance. It's literally like a foot long. Um, I'm gonna have to put it in the freezer because it's melting. But uh, yeah, we're gonna just uh, see if we can catch a fish on it and how well the rod holds up. Alrighty, guys. Um, update number four. Haven't gotten anything. Um, my dad has gotten thousands of bites, but sadly, no success. Dude, are you serious right now?
Dang. Alrighty guys, um, attempt number two, we are dropping it down. I just want something to grab this sucker already. Oh, I got one! I got one! On the tiny rod! Yes! I got it! <laughs> Was I recording? Yes! <laughs> I got one, guys! I got a fish! On the tiny gum rod, bro. Yes. What a fish. Look at that eyeball, guys. That eye's a rad looking eye. I got him, dude. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Guys, that video took a long time. The gum melted almost for the past three days. Um, I had to keep it in the fridge back there. Let me try and focus on that one. Alrighty, never mind. Um, yeah, so I just had to keep that one in the fridge for a very long time. It kept melting on me. But, hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're having a track meet tomorrow versus San Clemente. I want you guys to wish us luck. Pray for us, guys. But God is always with us. Gonna keep us running to the end. I actually made this video on Sunday. So, to make up for Sunday, I am going to tell you your church quote. And your church quote is... No matter how dark your past may be, though black as midnight, when God shines into your soul, it will dispel all darkness. Guys, look for a brighter future, be more positive, like and comment, subscribe, and as always, God, Fish, and Family.